I'm the a-hole for refusing to pay for my stepdaughter's wedding because her real daddy is the one that's going to walk her down the aisle. So let me tell you guys about my stepdaughter, all right? She wants her real daddy to walk her down the aisle. Now, let me give you a little backstory on, my, on me and my stepdaughter. She just graduated from university, which I paid for. Now, she went to an in-state university, but it still cost me about $40,000. Now, I also bought her a car. I bought her a car straight after high school. That way she could go back and forth to school. I bought her a car. She still lives with me and her mother. She does not have a job. Now, she's set to be married on August the 8th. And for the past six months, that's all her and her mother been talking about doing. Being occupied with, being consumed most of the time. Now, her daddy, he don't contribute to not one cent on her. Not her education, not her, not child support which is probably her mother's fault because, you know, she didn't fight for that. And that's, I guess that's just what the settlement was. And he only around to make promises. I do that for you. I do this for you. And then take off. And then she'd be heartbroken. But she adores her father, right? So, like I said, she said to be married in August. And the wedding venue, I told him they could have it in my home. The wedding venue can hold about 250. Hold up. See, this is what homie has to understand. A bond between a parent and child doesn't really always change because they didn't. the parent didn't give them money. Now, it might be some complaints along the way. It might be some um, disappointments. But love is love and family and bond connection is that. So what you did, you missed some red flags. You missed some red flags, bro, bottom line. The people, right? Now, I said, hey. I got a list of 20 people, 20 people that I want to come to the wedding. I'm paying for this at my house. I want these 20 people to come. Do y'all know Saturday, I see one of my friends at the golf course, right? He's supposed to come to the wedding. I'm like, hey, I'm going to see you at the wedding, right? He said, I only got an announcement. I didn't get an invite. I'm like, nah. I let my girlfriend and, and stepdaughter know to send out the invitations on these few people. And, and you're supposed to get an invite. He said, I got something, but it was an announcement. So we walked to his car because I want to check, right? And sure enough, it was an announcement. So I went and talked to my to my uh, my girlfriend and said, did you invite those 20 people to the wedding that I, that I told you about? Man, she didn't invite none of them. She said 250 people is a little tight, and I don't think we can get your 20 people in there. 250 people, he got 20 people he wanted to come. She didn't invite none of them. Bro, bro, this is not new. They don't fuck with you. This woman and her kid don't fuck with you. And that's the part that you're missing. You got to find out. And it seems like you're a little delusional about this whole relationship you in. Because this is not new. This has been going on. You just haven't been paying attention about how they really feel about you. It's a little tight. And I don't think we can get your 20 people in there. Man, I was pissed. And the people that, that were supposed to come, they pissed as well. Then she's going to say, if any of the people that we already invited don't RSVP, then we'll get some of your people in here. I'm like, what? Man, that's crazy, man. Don't even worry about it, man. I'll just be mad. All right? So now. The He'll just be mad. Sounds like a simp. Sounds like a simp because it's no way there's going to be a wedding at my house with the stepdaughter that I raised. And I needed 20 people to come. And it's going to be tight. It's not going to be tight. There will be no wedding at my house. All of this is getting ready to change. Because it's stupid. It's disrespectful. And guess what, homie? Once again, this ain't new. They've been playing on you for a minute now. Let's keep watching. A couple days later, I'm hosting. Hosting the venue at my house. Host, hosting the, the wedding family at my house, okay? It's me, stepdaughter, a girlfriend, groom, and their parents, right? Trying to help everybody get real acquainted. Then a surprise guest shows up. My stepdaughter's real daddy. And I'm like, you know what? You know what? Cool. He probably just coming to the wedding, right? But tell me why my stepdaughter. Hold up. Why are you? Why is it cool? See, you the type of dude, too much fuckery and bullshit and disrespect is cool. What is he doing at the house right now? Yo, bro, you're not part of this on that level. You're not part of this on that level. So, no, you have to leave. 
but you don't really know everything that was going on with this girlfriend and that dude. There may still be a connection, bro. And you late. You late. Let's keep watching this thing, man. A proceeds to stand up and announce that her real daddy is giving her away at the wedding. What? The wedding that I'm paying for the, in my house? The daddy don't do nothing for you? Is giving you away? Ah, oh, and they were just so happy and smelling. Ah, oh, yay, great. Inside, I was fuming. Inside, I wanted to cry or punch somebody. Probably want to do both, honestly. So, I took that time to... You're filming. You're filming inside. You were supposed to let some of that heat come outside. Because that's how you was going to get respected and they was going to understand certain things can and will not happen. Will not be allowed. You're filming. Now, they said, bro, hold up, man. You got to leave, man. You got to leave while we discuss some things. As a matter of fact, everybody got to leave because we got to have some discussions. Everybody got to leave. Me and this girlfriend and this little girl, we going to have to have a conversation. So everybody leave. Bro, if you're not raising hell when you're disrespected, then you're going to get trampled. I owe the groom and the bride a deep debt of gratitude. Because they have opened my eyes tonight. Oh, everybody at the table was just smiling. They have let me know that my position in this family is not what I thought it was. Oh, you should have saw the front. Homie is late. Your position in the family is not what you thought it was. You're so late. It's pathetic. I mean, I hear the disrespect and I, I hear how you feeling. But bro, on your part, you were late. Maybe you didn't require enough. Any situation you in, you better be requiring something and not allowing other things. But it seems like you allow too much to go on unchecked because this life game is about checks and balances. You know what I'm saying? If you're not checking shit and measuring the balance, man, when you look up, it's going to be overspent. Uh, underspent, whatever it is, it's not going to be good. Let's keep watching this thing, man. Oh, you should have saw the frowns, man. Now they mad. It done got serious. I let them know I am not the godfather or, you know, the head of the family that I thought I was, the loved one that would be seeked out in times of need. Nah. I realized I'm an ATM. Yeah. So, since I have been replaced as host as the other wedding, I shall be relinquishing, giving my financial duties to the new host. And I will back out monetarily. You already spent yeah. that. They don't need you no more. You yep. don't pay for everything. Now, after the announcement, a whole lot of snickering was going on around the table, right? A lot of mumbling. But they didn't say anything to me. Nobody addressed me now. Now, later that night, tell me why my girlfriend going to come to me talking about some how I'm ruining so much. How I'm ruining so much for backing out and how her daughter ain't going to have her, 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 her dream wedding and how her daughter ain't this and that. Okay, well, it's apparent. Smoke screen and diversion. Now you are the one messing it up for them. Bro, nobody's even taking your feelings into account. You know why? Because you, for over the years, you probably told them they didn't have to. You kept saying it was okay. And it's okay to sometimes say it's okay when it's not. But sometimes you have to do raw, concrete. Nah, no, we're not doing that. No, that won't happen. Because clearly they let you know what they think about you and what they've been getting away with for years. And now the cat is coming out the bag. That I'm not family in this family. So the family should take care of it, right? That's my stepdaughter. I mean, it ain't even my stepdaughter, really. It's my girlfriend. Uh, I just happened to be around her for the last 10 years. But tell me why the next day, my girlfriend trying to show me uh, how much I'm ruined, right? She takes me to where they plan on the wedding. And the wedding planner showed me, uh, you know, all the, all the things they got going down, everything they got set up. I look at the venue. They got some father-daughter dances, right? Three songs. All of them catered to her real dad, not me. I looked at the food, the food they got. Why did you even go to entertain this fiasco? Why did you even go? Simp, yo, you a simp, bro. You shouldn't even win. When, when do you protest what's happening right now? This just got stuff I'm allergic to in it. 
I just started laughing. Like, <laughs> they want me to pay for this. To the food on the menu. His name on it, not mine. His songs, not mine. The food, I can't eat the food. And the 20 people out of 250 that I want they can't even come in, in my house? Wow. Okay. It's wild, man. So I went on ahead and let him know. I will not be there and neither will my money. Hold up. This is straight suckery. This is straight cowardness. This dude sit there in a relationship, being the financial guy, paying for the stepdaughter's college, paying for her, getting her a new car, doing all of these things, right? Now, you think you're being the good man. No, you being the man that's easiest to be played. What did you require? This is not new, bro. There's been signs saying that you're not who you think you was. You just chose not to look at them. And at what point do you protest? Do you say, it's not happening like that? But guess what? They supposed to know that if there's a certain level of violation or disrespect, they should be, they should have been nervous of even thinking they can bring that man in the house to be part of a situation. They should have been nervous knowing if we don't put his name or we try to put another name on these invites, it's going to be a problem. If we do not invite the tw the small 20 people that he needs to be there, it's going to be a problem. Clearly, they didn't feel it was a problem. They didn't care. Maybe you could fit. With now what you're realizing, most of your life with these people was maybe you can fit. Maybe if we got enough, you wasn't really respected or thought about. You was third string. If these other things happen, we're not messing with you. If these things don't happen, now everybody's smiling. They're stroking you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Giving you some congratulations and you fell for it. When did you require anything from them to know where it's at? Because guess what? Sometimes you got to find out before you really need to find out. 250 people will not be in my house. They wouldn't be in my house. As far as ruining the wedding, nah, it's already ruined because it's not happening. And now since y'all didn't put my name on it, I don't want my name on it. That's it. You ahead of me. I done paid out. I done paid out. It's over now. See, my thing is, man, you sound like, you know, a sincere dude, but part of you is a simp. And this is what happens so many times. You know what I'm saying? You can't break certain bonds, whether you paid everything or whatever. But the respect that your girlfriend should have gave, knowing that you dedicated your finances, your time to her daughter, Shows that she don't respect you. Bro, she don't respect you. The little girl don't respect you. They love you for what you give, give to them. What you could give to them. Not you being like the man, yo, boom, boom, boom. Because you know why? You never check nothing. I can tell. Because the shit you eating now and you allowing to go on, I'm not going to look at nothing. See, first of all, it done got too stupid. The homes couldn't come. And we planning some family stuff with the way the kid's father cannot be there because he wasn't part of in any way. And guess what? After that, you go to the place and you hear in these songs. I don't have to go nowhere and look at a menu or do nothing because I am not participating. I am removing myself from this situation concrete and still.